Learning Beyond Prime Factorization with Anil Kumar. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We have some brilliant questions for our junior students. Let us prepare for some competitive exam now. So to learn the basic skills of mathematics, I have a set of questions for you. We'll take up one based on prime factorization in this particular video. Feel free to watch the other questions in the playlist. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. The question here is, Three whole numbers have their LCM as 180 and HCF of 3. So lowest common multiple of three numbers is 180 and the highest common factor is 3. Two of the numbers are 45 and 60. Find the third possible number. So that's a question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So, we are given two numbers and on the right hand side, see we have given you three circles. This is to make a Venn diagram and that can help us answer this particular question. So, one of the methods to answer such questions is to utilize Venn diagram. We are given that out of the three numbers, two are 45 and 60. So let us assume that blue circle represents factors of 45, green circle represents factors of 60. So let us do prime factorization of 45 and 60. So 45 prime factors will be 3. So 3 will go how many times? 3 goes 15 times and then 3 times 5. So 45 can be written as product of 3 times 3 times 5. And now let's look into the factors of 60. Factors of 60 are, we can divide by 2, you get 30. Then again by 2, you get 15. And 15 is 3 times 5. So the factors of 60 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Correct? Now, if we have 45 and 60, what is the lowest common multiple of these two numbers? So, from these numbers, we can also always find the LCM, right? So, LCM will be, let us check how many 2's are there. So, we have 2 2's maximum. So, 2 2's. Then how many 3's? Maximum 3 3's. That dot indicates multiplication and 1 5, right? So when you multiply these numbers, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 12, times 3 36, and times 5 gives you 180. So we know that the LCM of 45 and 60 is itself 180. And therefore, 180 is we can make LCM with 45 and 60. That's fine. Now we are also given that highest common factor of 3. So how do we represent this? We don't know the third number, but we know that highest common factor is 3. So if the red circle is the third number, then the common factor 3 will come in this portion, which is common to all three numbers. And that becomes the highest common factor. All of the factors are factors of 45 and 60. Perfect. Now, let us work on common factors of 45 and 60. So, what is the common factor of 45 and 60? We see 1, 3 is common. Now, this 3 has been already considered, right? The next common factor is, is 5. So, let us place 5 here. So that becomes 5. 5 is common between 45 and 60. So we got these common factors. The others which are not common are 2 and 2. So that 2 can come here. 
and another two we could place which is not common to 45 but we can make it common to the third number you get the idea how about 45 well 45 has got 3 as an additional number now you can see the Venn diagram shown here indicates 45 and 60 and we also get our third number so what can you tell me what is the third number well from this Venn diagram the third number is can you tell me what within the red circle you have 3 times 2 so the third number is 6 in this particular case make sense right well the third number could be something else also can you tell me what could it be well we could take the other 3 instead of 2 we'll keep 2 with 60 alone and we can take this 3 as common with the third number so in that case the third number will be 9 make sense or what we could do is we could keep 2 also and in that case the third number will be 9 times 2 18 make sense right so these three numbers could be possible solutions so now you know that the two numbers are 45 and 60 for this condition the third number can be 6 9 or 18 we are assuming that these numbers are greater than 1 perfect so i hope you have understood the concept feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best